So wireless communications, believe it or not, have been worked with since the 19th century. I know that seems like a long time ago, because it was, uh, but we had a lot of scientists that were out there, people like Tesla and some others, who were experimenting with uh, wireless communications. And they were successful at doing some of those types of communications, but it really wasn't, well, as it evolved, it wasn't until about the 70s that the state of Hawaii actually had wireless communications uh, that they were using to be able to transmit information between the islands. Now, the medium that they used, they called it Aloha. It makes sense, it was Hawaii. And it operated at 400 megahertz, which is certainly not the frequency range we're using today. In the 1990s, this is again moving forward in our uh, history, uh, we saw commercial wireless starting to uh, take place, operating at the 900 megahertz range. Basically, things like cordless telephones, if you even remember the day when we actually had telephones that were attached somewhere to uh, a uh, jack in the wall of our house. But uh, that and some other uh, kids' toys, wireless toys, um, began in the 90s, and that was the uh, common range that was being used.